Greetings, friends, and shalom again. Thank you for joining us again on TorahTruthSeekers.org. Or maybe you're catching this video message on YouTube somehow. And in this teaching, I want to expound and magnify the scriptures, the most important scriptures referring to tzitzit. And most of you may be wondering, what are tzitzit? Well, it's a Hebrew word, often translated as tassels. And some of you are thinking, whoa, okay, I've heard all I need to know about this topic. I've read the scriptures, and that's for Jews, and that's for Israelites. That is what Moses commanded and has been done away with or changed or no longer valid in the New Covenant. Well, if you think those things, please listen to this whole message because I'm going to go to other scriptures, not just the writings of Moshe, but also prophecies regarding future believers, leaders of this earth under the Mashiach, the Messiah, <clears throat> true Messiah, as well as the ministry of this Messiah involves emphasizing the importance of tzitzit or tassels in regard to healing, in regard to the commandments that he will not do away with or nail to that cross or however you want to word that, and that he actually magnifies the law and he helps us and he sent a helper to help us write those laws in our hearts and minds. And if you're a leader out there and you're actually influencing people, and maybe you've read all these scriptures and you say, I don't see it in the New Testament or the Brit Hadashah, as we say in Hebrew, the New Covenant. Well, please listen to all I have to teach in this video message. And we'll have a part two and three and I'm not sure how many more, but until I can emphasize the importance under inspiration and in whatever he gives me. And I've learned more just by preparing this, even though I've been studying this topic for years. So please hear me out. Hear out the scriptures, not just me. Don't believe just me, but believe your own word. And believe not just the written word, but pray for the inspired word the revelation to come to you in regard to this topic because it is an important topic and you might be thinking, well, I'm a Gentile and I don't need to keep those Israeli laws or those laws of Moshe or Moses and some of them are good and, and well, let's pick and choose which ones we want to keep and which ones we want to do away with. <clears throat> well, my friends, please, let the scriptures tell you these things and let his inspired word, not just organizations of men or teachings of men or pastors. And if you're a pastor of a mega church or a congregation or a leader, please, with an open mind and heart, of course, not to be gullible, but to be like the Bereans. Let's continually learn and grow and reason with the scriptures together. And if you have more revelation that you can give to me, I'm not claiming to have all the truth or know everything, but I want to reveal and magnify what has been revealed to me, what I believe has, and to share that with you, and so that you can reap a deeper relationship with your Creator. And also the blessings and the promises, and acknowledge those promises that come along with it. And those aren't bad. We shouldn't just you know, put people down who want to pursue blessings. You know, do you want more healing in your life, more miracles, more involvement of your Creator? And I hope you do. If you don't, then of course this message is not for you. And uh, you don't need to correspond with us. But we like to network with people who do want to be like us. As for me and my house, we want to walk with the Eternal our Father, our Creator, and His Son, and our Messiah. So, for over 3,000 years, Jews, Israelites, and Hebrews have been wearing tzitzits, or tassels. 
Even Gentiles who've been grafted in to Israel have been wearing tassels for generations. And let's go to the scriptures and look at these in the scriptures first of all. But before I even go to the scriptures, let's answer the question, why? Why would I or you as a believer want to wear tassels? What is the purpose, really, under the New Covenant? Well, first of all, it is a mitzvot. A mitzvot in Hebrew means commandment. And it is a commandment. And we're told in Revelation chapter 14 and verse 12, and in many other scriptures in the Brit Hadashah, the New Covenant <clears throat> scriptures of the apostles. But here in Revelation 14, 12, it says, Here is the patience of the saints, the true believers. Here are those who keep the commandments of God, Yahovah, Yahweh. In Hebrew, we can say it in different dialects or however you want to say it in your language. His commandments and the faith of the Messiah. So here is the patience of the, of the true believers is that we keep the commandments of our Creator and we have the faith of our Messiah. And so if you have those two, or if you desire those two, or want to seek those two in a deeper way, please turn with me to Numbers chapter 15. We'll start off in the beginning where it's first mentioned in the scriptures. And in Numbers chapter 15, it says, Speak to the children of Israel. I have it in my notes here. And bid them that they make fringes. And it says fringes in the old King James, tassels in the new King James. In the borders or the corners of their garments throughout their generations. Now think about this. What if Israel would not have broken the covenant? They were married to our Creator, the firstborn. They're even called the firstborn. Firstborn nation that our Creator, our Father, you used as His people and chosen out of the whole world to be an example to the whole world. What if they would not have broken the covenant in, in Jeremiah chapter 3 and 4? We read about the divorce that our Creator gave Israel because they wouldn't repent. Many warnings, many chances a lot of patience, and they still wouldn't do it. But what if they wouldn't have? The Messiah would have still had to come to fulfill the purpose of all the sacrifices. He would have still been crucified, as we're told in Psalms 22, Isaiah 53, and Zechariah chapter 12 and 10, I believe, where it talks about that, and many other scriptures, how he fulfilled these scriptures. And what if what if he would have still fulfilled those? We would have still been engrafted in throughout all generations. But because they failed in the covenant, we have a new covenant that includes the same body of Israel, but a spiritual Israel. And we can read about that. I expound upon that in Revelation chapter 12. The woman in, in scriptures refers to the, the faithful woman, the virgin woman, is always referring to Israel. And Gentiles are grafted in. In Romans chapter 11, the Apostle Paul, or Shaul, talks about the wild olive branch. Gentiles being grafted in. It's the same old tree, but it's a, a modified tree, a, an improved tree through the new covenant. And these laws are written in our hearts. So, continuing in Numbers chapter 15, throughout your generations, that they may put upon the fringe or tassel of the corners a thread or a ribband of blue. Now blue is an interesting color. We'll expound upon why blue is chosen here. And it shall be unto you for a tassel or a tzitzit in Hebrew that ye may look upon it and remember